in this session let's learn how to create the database manually okay so the first step in this process is creating the folder structure so let's see where we are okay we are in the root and these are all the folders which were created when installing the Linux operating system so now let me create all the folders in disk 1 so I'll go to disk 1 okay and here I'll make a directory called prod mkdir prod okay and then I'll move into prod and here I'll create all the directories necessary for my Oracle database so mkdir I'll create a folder called data I'll create a folder called redo I'll create a folder called control then log then arc for archive and then DAAG for diagnostic related files then FRA for flash recovery area so these are the various directories which we will create okay we are done now let's go to Oracle home DBS folder okay and this is where we will create our parameter file okay whenever Oracle database is started one of the first thing it needs to do is read the database initialization parameter file this parameter file or init.ora file is created by the DBA and defines the overall instance configuration such as how much memory should be allocated to the instance the file location and the internal optimization parameters one of the important initialization parameter which is defined in this parameter file is memory underscore target memory underscore target is used to provide the total size of your PGA and SGA memory okay whenever you specify the size Oracle 11G automatically manages the space so that means you just mention one parameter called memory underscore target it appropriately allocates the memory required for the SGA and PGA so that means it kind of does the automatic sizing for you if SGA requires more memory it allocates to that if PGA requires more memory it allocates to that so in that way memory target acts as a very good parameter in the parameter file now let's go ahead and create this file okay so vi and I'm calling my parameter file as init and then the database name prod dot ORA okay here let me mention all the initialization parameters so the first parameter is db db underscore name so our database name is prod and then memory target as we said this is an important parameter so I'm giving them 500 MB so that this 500 MB is used both for the SGA and PGA and now let's mention the control files control files equal to let's mention two control files so that even if one control file is lost we have another control file as a backup so I will do that in disk one slash prod slash control okay and let me give the control as control 01 dot ctl single quotations comma and let me give the second one disk one slash prod slash control slash control 02 dot ctl and let me close that and now let me give the diagnostic destination diagnostic curl to single quotations I'll give that in disk one slash prod slash diag this is where all the diagnostic information is stored and then let's mention 
with which version this database is compatible. So equal to 11.2.0. So that's our Oracle version. And now let's save this. So escape colon wq exclamatory mark. Okay, we have successfully created the parameter file. So now let's create a SQL script which is used for the database creation. Okay, so vidb creation dot SQL. You can call whatever you want. I just called it as db creation dot SQL. Okay, and here I am saying create database and I want it to call as prod obviously and then data file so we want the data file to be in disk 1 prod data and I want it to be called as system.dbf I want to define this size as 300m and I want to mention as auto extend on okay and then I'll define the sysox data file disk1 slash prod slash data slash sysox dot dbf size 300 M auto extend on okay and then let me mention the default table space default table space user underscore data that's the table space name and then the data file slash disk one slash prod slash data user 01 dot dbf and let me mention the size as 500 m okay and then let's mention the undo table space undo table space and it is called as undo tbs and the data file slash disk one slash prod slash data slash undo tbs dot db f and then let me mention the size of hundred and now let me mention the log file okay so we need to mention this log file in groups and we need to have at least two log files okay so group one single quotation slash disk one slash prod slash redo slash redo one dot rdo and we want to mention as size 100m comma group 2 disk 1 slash prod slash redo slash redo 2 dot rdu size 100m and semicolon that's it now let's save the file escape colon wq exclamatory mark now let's log into oracle and create the database so let me export the oracle sid and then sql plus slash as okay we have logged into Oracle and we have connected to an ideal instance. Now let's start up the database. Start up. We will do it in no mount because we are creating the database now. No mount. 
so oracle instance has started so now let's create the database so let's call that script so it is in u01 slash app slash oracle slash product slash 11.2.0 slash dbs slash db creation so this is where our db creation script is there we will use this script to create the database it's creating it takes some time because it's creating the database database successfully created so now let's create the other data dictionary tables uh, procedures functions and other objects okay so for that uh, we need to run three scripts so let's go ahead and run that so since they are present in Oracle home I'll use the value dollar Oracle home because we have already set this value slash rdbms slash admin slash catalog dot sequence so it's creating all the objects and data dictionary tables necessary for the Oracle database okay all the necessary data dictionary tables are created now let's run the second script Oops, I misspelled the file name. Oracle home slash rdbms slash admin slash cat proc dot sequel. Oh, again I mentioned the same. It's CAT PROC dot SQL. It's taking a while to create all the objects, mostly the packages, functions, and procedures. Okay, that procedure is completed. So now let's run the final one. At the rate dollar Oracle home slash RD MS slash admin slash P B D dot SQL. <coughs> Oops, I mentioned a wrong location. Let me correct that slash it's not in rdbms it's in sql plus admin slash pubbl i forgot to mention the dollar symbol oracle home slash sql sql plus slash admin slash okay successfully completed we have executed all the necessary three scripts okay now let's restart the database so that the database is successfully created okay for that shut immediate we are shutting down the database
it's closed it's dismounted and it shut down so let's come out of that and then again re-login so export Oracle SID equal to fraud and then SQL plus slash s and then let's start up the oracle instance is started database is mounted and database is opened so we have successfully created the database congratulations